important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. Uh, oh, touche. I thought I TP'd before the tunnel. confusing sometimes. Always wanted to do that. Bounty to the rift. Say what? But I didn't expect a vampire invasion. No. Oh. And Now it's like the hunt never get never you know happened. Lucky deer.
I've got your back. I am sworn to carry your burdens. You lead. I'll follow. Need something? Need something? Farewell. Look at this. I should have known it was only a matter of time before they found us. It's the price we pay for openly recruiting. We'll have to step up our defenses. I don't suppose you have some good news for me. Of course. Why did I suppose differently? Fine. Tell me what you know. A woman? Trapped in there? That doesn't make any sense. Who is she? More importantly, where is she? And so you delivered her to them. They what? And you didn't stop them? You didn't secure the scroll? I suppose you're lucky you're not dead. Or worse, one of them. By the Divines. This couldn't get much worse. This is more than you and I can handle. Well, of course we do. I'm old, not stupid. We're just going to need some help. If they're bold enough to attack us here, then this may be bigger than I thought. I have good men here. There are people I've met and worked with over the years. We need their skills, their talents, if we're going to survive this. If you can find them, we might have a chance. Red to the point, aren't you? I like that. Not like those fools in the Order. We should keep it small. Too many people and we'll draw unwanted attention to ourselves. I think we'll want Serene Gerard. Breton girl, whip smart and good with tinkering. Fascination with the Dwemer. Weapons in particular. Last I knew, she was out in the Reach. Convinced she was about to find the biggest dwarven ruins yet. Might need a little convincing, but she should. You'll also want to find Gunmar. Big brute of a Nord. Hates vampires almost as much as I do. Got it into his head years back that his experience with animals would help. Trolls in particular, from what I hear. Last I knew, he was out scouring Skyrim for more beasts to tame. Bring the two of them back here, and we can get started on coming up with a plan. Isn't it obvious? They're soft. The lot of them. Totally unprepared for any real threat. And yet I was the one ridiculed for trying to be ready for anything. Too extreme, they called me. Well, that doesn't seem to have worked out in their favor now, has it? Vampires need to be dealt with, hunted, rooted out, destroyed. Once there was a group dedicated to a similar cause. They called themselves the Dawn Guard. That was a long time ago, but the idea was and is a good one. That's why I'm bringing it back. This latest attack proves it's the right time. Watch your back. The more quests I can get done before I'm done with the main campaign, the better. Bear on the loose. You there! Hold fast! I've tracked this damned bear for two weeks. I'll not let it have any more victims. Ethron? Needing someone else's help? Never thought I'd hear that. 
I'm afraid he's a few years too late. I've moved on. I have more important business to attend to. Besides, he can handle anything alone. He assured me so himself. What could he possibly need my help with? Vampires? That... well, that might change things. Tell me more about what's going on. By the eight. All right, look. I'll consider it. But I can't just leave this bear to prey on more innocent people. Once it's dealt with, then perhaps I'll see what Isran expects of me. I don't know how well I'd have managed by myself. You have my thanks. You've helped me, so I suppose the least I can do is find out what Isran wants. He's still at that fort near Stendar's beacon, I assume. If Isran is anything, he's stubborn. He's been working on that place for years now. Never lets anyone in. His own little fortress. Well, I guess I'll get to see what he's been up to all this time. I'll meet you there.
thing. It took its very soul. I never would have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. It can't be. It, it took its very soul. Still here? I am sworn to carry your burdens. You lead. I'll like follow. Ancient legends. Dragonborn. haven't seen a sack full of dwarven gyros lying around, have you? I swear I left it right here. Do you think mud crabs might have taken it? I saw one the other day. Wouldn't be surprised if it followed me here. Well, just look around, will you? Isran? Wants me? No, you must be mistaken. He made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. He said some very hurtful things to me before I left. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me... Yes, that was my point. I felt it was rather clear. Look, what is it you want from me? Vampires. Really? Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Well, what are they up to? I... Well, that's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case... Isran is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. I need at least one intact dwarven gyro. So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another gyro from someplace. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? Can't afford to forget about this work, though. Some very interesting applications. Now, where is it I'm supposed to be going? Ah, been working more on his secret hideout, has he? It'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made. I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. I will get her a gyro, a gyro. I'll steal one. Let me quickly go to Margoth Understone. Let me quickly steal one. Why? Because again. Maybe I can still complete that quest. You know, just I'm gonna take one just in case.
right, so let's return to Fort Dawn God. Too far. And I'm gonna jump up. Then what that about? I'm right behind you. How can I serve you, my Thane? You lead. I'll follow. you look at that. You've been busy. Oh, I'm not there yet. Lol. <laughs> Need something? Yes. Peace and quiet. Got us all here. Now what do you want? Hold it right there. What are you doing? Making sure you're not vampires. Can't be too careful. So welcome to Fort Dawnguard. I'm sure you've heard a bit of what we're up against. Powerful vampires, unlike anything we've seen before. And they have an Elder Scroll. If anyone is going to stand in their way, it's going to be us. This is all well. Oh, there he is. Do we actually know anything about what they're doing? What do we do now? We'll get to that. For now, get acquainted with the space. Soreen, you'll find room to start your tinkering on that crossbow design you've been working on. Gunmar, there's an area large enough for you to pen up some trolls. Get them armored up and ready for use. In the meantime, we're going to get to the bottom of why a vampire showed up here looking for you. Let's go have a little chat with him, shall we? Well, this isn't exactly a palace, is it? Still, it's sturdy, secure, and seems defensible. I suppose I'd rather be here than most other places in Skyrim. Isran needs me. It must be pretty bad. I've only heard stories. Not sure if any of them are true. Like that they were supposed to guard some vampire here, but wound up all becoming vampires themselves when they saw how powerful he was. And then preyed on the rift until finally someone put them down. I guess it doesn't matter now. At least Isran is trying to do something noble with the name. I want to add some punch to our crossbow capabilities. I've done all I can on my own. I need a little 
inspiration. I've always been fascinated with Dwemer artifacts. I take them apart, poke around in their guts, and try to figure things out. With mixed results. But as luck would have it, I've tracked down the location of some actual Dwemer diagram drawings. So, if you'd be a deer and collect those plans for me? A basic one, of course. That is, assuming you know anything about steelsmithing. It's pretty simple. Talk to Gunmar if you need materials. It's not easy to get supplies way out here, but I'm managing. Take a look. Let me help you to supply up. Until next time. She doesn't care about the uh, up to the, about the gyro, okay? What are you looking at? Zareen needs help with her project to improve our crossbows, and if that doesn't interest you, speak with Gunmar. He has something for you. All right then. All right, then. Hope you're getting along with Isron. I like what Isron has done with the place. It's good to see someone else who's really prepared. He's up there. one day I knew and no one believed only what I've heard back in the second era the Jarl of Riften had a son adventurous type too much for his own good it seems wound up turning into a vampire the Jarl unable to kill his own son spent a fortune building this keep and hiring men to guard it their job was to keep the Jarl's son contained within they took it seriously, and served honorably. They were eventually forced to put him down. The Jarl banished them from the hold, but they stuck to their cause. Fought vampires wherever they found them. I aim to continue that mission. Keep your eyes open. This vampire showed up while you were away. I'm guessing it's the one you found in Dim Hollow Crypt. Says it's got something really important to say to you. So let's hear it. You probably weren't expecting to see me again. I'd rather not be here either, but I needed to talk to you. It's important, so please just listen. 
before your friend here loses his patience. It's... Well, it's about me, and the Elder Scroll that was buried with me. The reason I was down there, and why I had the Elder Scroll. It all comes back to my father. I'm guessing you figured this part out already, but my father's not exactly a good person, even by vampire standards. He wasn't always like that, though. There was... a turn. He stumbled onto this obscure prophecy and just kind of lost himself in it. He just became absorbed. Obsessed. He was kind of sick, actually. The prophecy said that vampires would no longer need to fear the sun. For someone who fancied himself as vampire royalty, that's pretty seductive. Anyway, my mother and I didn't feel like inviting a war with all of Tamriel, so we tried to stop him. That's why I was sealed away with the scroll. I did. But something about you makes me think I can trust you. I hope I'm not wrong. Well, let's move then. I'm nothing if not persuasive. All right, you've heard what it has to say. Now tell me. Is there any reason I shouldn't kill this blood-sucking fiend right now? Set my hatred aside? Not a chance. It's what keeps me strong. You'd better know what you're doing. It can stay for now. But if it so much as lays a finger on anyone here, I'll hold you responsible. Got it. You hear me? Don't feel like a guest, because you're not. You're a resource. You're an asset. In the meantime, don't make me regret my sudden outburst of tolerance and generosity. Because if you do, your friend here is going to pay for it. Thank you for your kindness. I'll remember it the next time I'm feeling hungry. So, in case you didn't notice the giant thing on my back, I have the Elder Scroll with me. Whatever it says, it will have something that can help us stop my father. But, of course, neither of us can read it. Well, the Moth Priests are the only ones I've heard of who can do it. They spend years preparing before they start reading, though. Not that it helps us anyway, because they're all half a continent away, in Cyrodiil. Some Imperial scholar arrived in Skyrim a few days ago. I was staking out the road when I saw him pass by. Maybe that's your moth priest. Do you know where he's staying now? No, and I'm not going to waste men looking. We're fighting a war against your kind, and I intend to win it. You want to find him? Try talking to anyone who'd meet a traveler. Innkeepers and carriage drivers in the big cities, maybe. But you're on your own. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Well, back before I... You know. The College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. I... Well, I'd come with you, but I don't know if I can trust your friend. Let me know if you want me along. If you want to come along, it has to just be me and you. I've got your back. I am sworn to carry your burdens. You lead. I'll follow. Lead on. Still here. I will be back at your house if you need me, Thane. Thank you. Were you looking for me? Of 
course. Let's go. Oh, what is it? This better not be all the things you just can't be bothered with. I mean, as much as anyone. Not a lot. You'd figure a couple hundred years locked away with one would have given me some insight, but no. Turns out you don't learn much from just sleeping with something. Not at this rate, no. That's... a long story. I guess... We kind of have to go way back, to the very beginning. Do you know where vampirism came from? Exactly. The first vampire came from Molag Bal. She... was not a willing subject, but she was still the first. Molag Bal is a powerful Daedric Lord, and his will is made reality. For those willing to subjugate themselves, he will still bestow the gift, but they must be powerful in their own right before earning his trust. Nobody's ever asked me that before. I... I don't know. I think... mostly I hate what it's done to my family. Well, you've met most of us. My father's not exactly the most stable, and eventually he drove my mother crazy with him. And it all ended with me being locked underground for who knows how long. It's definitely been a bad thing, on the whole. I will be. Just give me a little time. What now? That's... a long story. I guess... we kind of have to go way back. Exactly. The first... Molag... For those willing to subjugate themselves, he will still bestow the... The ceremony was... Degrading. Let's not revisit that. But we all took part in it. Not really wholesome family activity, but... I guess it's something you do when you give yourselves to a Daedric Lord. Well, you... And it all... It's definitely been a bad thing. A cure. Why even think of it that way? I can't think of any reason I'd want to lose this gift, especially after what I did to get it. It may have driven my family apart, but I'm still here, and I'm alive. I won't give this up. Where is Mr. Troll guy? You're getting along with Isran. You'd take some getting used to. 
All right, then. If you're putting yourself in harm's way, you'd best be prepared. Take these. Oh. Hi, lad. All right. I'll take note. He'll mind you and us, Dongar, but there's no accounting for other folk. And heed also this. He's no pet. Mistreat the beast or leave him alone for too long. He'll return to the wild, forgetting you ever existed. Now, you be careful with the creature. Cozy little place, isn't this? East Run had a surprising stockpile of weapons and armor. Take a look. Fight bravely, friend. Oh, what is it? All right, let's see what you have. I'll buy it when I need it. Let him chill here. Hmm. See it as an investment in Dongard. Oh, you do use the shield. Interesting. 